We are currently focusing on getting enough property together and to see that in future we might add a few pieces. We need at least 3,000 hectares. To be able to acquire more property, you have to go and see some of your neighbors. Because of our size, there's many neighbors, at least seven. On top of that, we have to find enough horses of the right quality and the right temperament. We need to patrol the fence. Starting an outright from two sides, each lot will do about 20 kilometers because the fence is about 30 kilometers in extent. It's getting there and getting back. Also, uh, animals, or wild animals, our game. They do not perceive a man on a horse as a man and a horse. Your outline is broken and you merge. So they see you as one large animal and they'll allow you very close. Currently we are active and busy on two conservancies, game farms, one belonging to, to Yandra and one belonging to Cheryl. They have very similar uh, habitat to ours. One is hilly uh, and, and one is a, a plains uh, farm uh, with a lot of groundwater. On, on the conservancy we'll have, there's a lot of groundwater and some hills. So together uh, they resemble the exact habitat that we have. We're putting in new genetics. We are seeing which animals adapt the best. We are experimenting with some grasses to see if we cannot improve the fertility, improve, improve the adaptiveness of certain species that hasn't occurred there. And we have met with reasonable success. On Yandre's farm, we will be introducing some more impala. It has a very small herd of impala. And on Cheryl's farm, we're going to bring some ostriches. She doesn't have any ostriches. So as soon as we have established some sweet grasses, We'll bring in some fence back to see if we cannot increase their numbers. In the next three or four weeks, all our planning will come together and we expect to have the game delivered on both farms within the next six weeks. All these things make a difference in the big picture. It makes us more efficient, it makes us more focused. Then when we implement them on our conservancy, we will be very accurate. We won't have to do things over. And especially, and this is the most important, we will not lose many animals. I don't want to see animals suffer and I don't want to see animals die. It's heart-wrenching. That we try and avoid at, at all costs. So it's ultimately for the animals' benefit and for us to work much more efficiently and much more accurately.